Well, last time we had this dried out, uh, we did assign some wires to it. That's all gone because my wife turned this quad card off. So, armed with a professional microphone, I shall give it another whirl today on the select tool. I'm just going to put this join into hidden line and I'm going to select the tubes in the drawing and I'm going to put them on a layer and that's going to be layer 5 so next time we've got the tube it's been put on layer 5 I'm going to put all the tubes on layer 5 layer 5 and we've got some smaller tubes stiffeners looks like they are on five already and the stiffener there already on layer five don't know to double click just to uh, check so layer five I'm going to turn off by clicking on this little eye there now obviously Uh, we have we have a tube on a wrong layer there. Just let me turn this drawing round. And get it to where I can see it better. We also have some fingers and things on layer five, but we will reassign them. It may be that the tubes have gone, but we just need to refresh the drawing by popping into wireframe, yeah, uh, yeah it was me that they were, they have been moved, I'm just going to bring the tubes back up now, so we nail every tubular component, just refresh the drawing by popping out a wireframe into hidden line, and when I look at these lugs, which the uh, bucket ram mechanism attaches to. Both plugs are identical so we can put them off both on layer 1. Again on layer 1. And of course they disappear at the same time. I'm going to put the moving jaw fingers on 2. So we just uh, click on those, turn layer 2 off, refresh the drawing just by popping in and out of wireframe. And then we have the fixed jaw fingers, which I think we'll put them on 3. turn 3 off now, just refresh the drawing by popping in and out, <coughs> just going to get the whole thing up now, of course layers make things easy by hiding parts of the drawing once you've constructed them, just uh, spin the drawing around, and we have our Conrod brackets at the back here. You can see which part's highlighted. And we're going to put them on four. Both identical components. Four. Now what I'm looking for here is layer 2, so I'm going to turn everything off except 2 because I want to look at these two parts and just ref 
refresh by popping in and out. And hmm, let's see, we have some lugs left over from the previous. They were previously on layer two, the same as the fingers. So two, just gonna check two, two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an additional couple of layers and see the various tools here, the layers. I'm just going to go new, 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 new. Okay. So if we pop up our layers, we know we've just created 10 and there's nothing on it, so we put our lugs on 10. 10. The lugs are identical to the fixed jar on the moving jar, so no reason why they can't go on layer 10. And in fact, I've changed my mind because I'm going to isolate one set of layers. I'm going to put them on nine, and this one here on nine, and that will be apparent in a minute why. So we got oops, popped into a open window mode, and then what that does is select anything in the the open window. So we've got on 10, and we've got that one's still on 2, so we hadn't reassigned it. So there we have it. I'm just going to pop all the layers off except for 10. So we went to the 3D menu, wireframe it. Thin line, and now I'm going to show you one of the most powerful parts. We only need to print this drawing out for the profile cutter to cut the shape out, even cut the holes out rough because the bosses are going back in there. And just so I'm not confused, I'm going to put one of these layers, one of these lugs, on a different layer. And now I'm going to end up with uh, layer 8. And I'm going to turn layer 8 that is off. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to grab all the drawing. So we're down to one part. It's 20mm by 10 south steel plate. And if we wanted to cut that out now, I'm just going to oh, go on the standard toolbar and I'm going to create a name view. So, go here. And I'm going to call it a lug because I'm only showing you the problem. Lug one two. Okay. Down here we're going to paper space, and we can. Oh, the old grabs on still hanging about in the old previous drawing. Need to delete this. Just delete that, and now I'm going to insert a viewport, which is our lug, and go to it, close, and select on its prop on its properties and it's just loaded up I'm going to have to turn that volume down a little bit try open window mode 
Hmm. Let's pop the drawing into the center to get it all squared up. Check that we've got select. And that isn't going to happen. In open window mode it should have found it anyway, but it's not. And I might have to sit here all day. <sighs> mm, just got some movement there. And it's finally selected it. It is a bit slow, this computer. And I'm going to go into its properties. And we just a hidden line drawing because we're only looking for an outline to cut out. And that's it. So if we wanted to save that as the cutting plan, save as. This is where it does get a little bit fiddly. I send them into uh, Stuart Goddard. And I nearly always put them in my pictures. I am going a little bit too fast at the moment. So what I can do is, I'm going to save it as a JPEG, at the moment it's a TurboCAD for Windows file. Go down the JPEG for Windows there, into our pictures, and in fact I'm going to give it the proper title. I'm going to have a look. Drawing. And for whatever reason, and this is what we call in the industry sods law. Try and right click and open the drawings up, which works pretty quick. So, no need to reach for another cigarette yet. And I'm just looking to grab. open up and I'm going to save it in the grab folder so I'm going to delete that and I'm going to pop back into model space on the select tool uh, on the layers turn them all on And just, just got to have a part selected for it to pop out into the 3D menu. All our layers are on here, and just refresh the drawing by popping in and out of wireframe into hidden line in the standard uh, menu. I'm just going to pop the drawing into full view. I'm going to pull around so I can see when I'm in view. And I'm going to go up to draft rendering. And because this computer was turned off, I have no idea what's going to pop out at us now. It's just a plain black grab. And let me just show you some of the uh, endless possibilities on tools, oh sorry, options, render scene luminance, and layers, where are we? Different interface from what I usually use. Render scene environment, background graduated, graduated inverted, pop out and have a look at that one. Different view again. One of the, it's not a headache, it's lights can be a bit of a struggle. As soon as you change the background, the old lighting setup changes, and you'll see getting a nice glossy finish on there. And I think uh, 
because this will be a first-handed drawing, I'd better leave it there for, for now on that one. 